Prodomo Nostra. When during the last war, which like all others seems peaceful in comparison to its successor, the symphony orchestras of many countries had their vociferous mouths stopped, Stravinsky wrote the Histoire du Soldat for a sparse, shock-maimed chamber ensemble. It turned out to be his best score, the only convincing surrealist manifesto, its, convul its convulsive, dreamlike compulsion imparting to music an inkling of negative truth. The precondition of the piece was poverty. It dismantled official culture so drastically because denied access to the latter's material goods, it also escaped the ostentation that is inimical to culture. There is here a pointer for intellectual production after the present war, which has left behind in Europe a measure of destruction undreamt of by even the voids in that music. Progress and barbarism are today so matted together in mass culture that only barbaric asceticism towards the latter and towards progress in technical means could restore an unbarbaric condition. No work of art, no thought has a chance of survival unless it bear within it repudiation of false riches in high-class production of color films and television, millionaires' magazines and Tosca Toscanini. The older media not designed for mass production take on a new timeless timeliness, that of exemption and of improvisation. They alone could outflank the united front of trusts and technology. In a world where books have long lost all, like, all likeness to books, the real book can no longer be one. If the invention of the printing press inaugurated the bourgeois era, the time is at hand for its repeal by the mimograph, the only fitting, the unobtrus unobtrusive means of dissemination.